Jack Writer 3 Plus comes on a CD as well as on a USB stick so you can use it in the most recent machines without CD players. Check Writer is an application that not only allows to write checks but also to print just at the same time the check and the cover letter. So it's composed of the check area on top of the application window and a word processor at the bottom of the window. Uh, you will notice some of the coding here. It's the hashtag encoding where you can have the information from text boxes as well as payee, for instance, the payee field and the date, etc. The idea is that by merely entering data into the check, that will update the cover letter or the stub, as it's called, often called as well. Okay, so how does the application work? It's fairly simple. As you can see, it represents a check on top of the, of the window. Double click here and you will be able to enter the username, your name, uh, address, city, state, zip. Uh, in, in that field you can choose to bold in, to choose a different font, there are all sorts of fonts in, in, in Macintosh, so let us say we want here Kohonor, it's kind of cute. Okay, um, you can enter of course the username, the bank, this bank here, all right, uh, and as well as the payee, payee's address. Alright, so these are the, the fixed fields uh, plus the bank number and of course the routing number and the account number. In the account number sometimes you find a dash, so you just enter a dash and once you press tab you see the maker line as it will appear on the check. Alright, so now let's say we want to write a check, our first check. So we will just enter the payee, Mr. Payee. Alright, press tab, enter the amount, okay, $99.75 for instance. Notice the way the word amount is automatically updated. All right, and finally the memo or the four field for stuff and things. All right, so all you have to do once you got you got your check done, you just click print, and it will print the check, the check and the cover letter. All right, so that's it. The same check, you can go back to it by using the uh, the, the arrows on top. It's, it's just like a, uh, like a recorder. Just click left and you see your check again, beneficiary, etc. All right, um, you can print later. That's a way, for instance, if you if you want to to keep the check and then print it later okay you can still print same way okay the application can support up to 15 different bank accounts uh, you have access to it here for instance let's say you want to add city bank ct ct bb ct bank all right plus okay so now you can switch from default account to Citibank. You see that the name of the user, the bank, 
all these fields have disappeared as well as the routing number so to enter an, a new routing number for the new bank you will just double click and enter the new routing number same thing for the new bank account all right basically the principle is the same you can have uh, all sorts of bank accounts of course each bank account has its own register and basically you can have different accounts for instance uh, sometimes you got a business account you got a corporate account so you can change that uh, the register is a place where you record all the all the all the different sorts of things stuff and for instance uh, this register can be uh, modified and you can enter new lines basically it's just like a record book that you you enter your your deposits and credit card operations if you want and the balance is calculated automatically of course it can be inserted rows remove rows backup records is simply saving records or uh, start to new is ju just clean everything and, and start just with beginning balance and you can print that if you need it okay this is this is a very simple to use application but you can customize it very very much for instance you can move things around uh, if you don't like it for instance this void after 90 days area just click option and move it with the mouse just move it with the mouse not only can you move it with the mouse but if you like a very precise positioning just control click and select measurement and you'll be able to measure to move this field according to the top and the and the left top is position position in, uh, relative to the top of the check and left to the left of the check uh, here we have got measurements in inches decimal inches but you can also have millimeters and you can have points points are one seventy second of an inch is the typographical point so anyway this is the way you can move everything on the check so that's convenient if you got pre-printed uh, paper and so you can match the pre-printed paper another thing with pre-printed paper is that sometimes you got fields already printed so you don't want that printed by the, the software so what do you do you just control click and you say do not print and you see it it turns blue and it won't print so that's a very convenient way of customizing the check another way to customize the check is you if you want to sign automatically so you will drag a signature file to the signature box here and drop it and that's it uh, you alternatively you can also write uh, control click and select a dialog to, to pick the, the uh, file that you need so that's very easy to use as you can see you can print on regular paper on colored paper or on special paper with security features